Okay, so numerical methods pa rin tayo, but this time, we are now in a new method. So, tapos na tayo sa ating direct uh, solutions or direct methods in finding the or in solving a system of linear equations. Now, um, this method is an indirect method. So, kapag indirect, babalik ulit tayo sa ating iterative solutions. So, the first method for indirect solution is the Gauss-Seidel method. So, given a set of equations, so, A, AX equal to B, so matrix A ulit natin siya, for a 3 by 3 matrix, if the diagonal elements of are all non-zero, the first equation can be solved for x sub 1, the second for x sub 2, and the third for x sub 3. So, if the diagonal elements are all non-zero, okay, so we can use that. And um, initial guesses must be made for excess. Simple approach is to assume that the excess are zero. So, lahat ng x natin sa initial guess natin should be zero for a simple approach, for simpler um, solution. So, yung formulas na gagamitin natin will be this one. Okay, so medyo na, uh, complicated siya or ma nakakalito tignan. But let us try sa example. Okay, we have example number 1, this system. And then, yung initial guesses natin are, of course, all zero. Since uh, we are aiming for a simple approach and a simpler solution. So, of course, um, gaya ng ginagawa natin sa mga past methods, let us write the augmented matrix for the system. So, yung augmented matrix niya will be 3, negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.2, and then 0 0.1, 7, negative 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and then 10. So, we now have our augmented matrix. And for B, values of B, that is 7.85, negative 19.3, and 71.4. So, at first iteration, so babalik ulit tayo sa ating iteration methods. So, at first iteration, of course, K is equal to 1. So, from the formula... So, x sub 1 raised to k. So, x sub 1 raised to k natin is equal to b sub 1 minus a 1 to x sub 2 k minus 1 minus a 1 3 x sub 3 k minus 1 all over a 1 1. So, this formula is from here. Okay, so, yung x sub 1 natin, so, our k is equal to 1, so, this is equal to, x sub 1 raised to 1, so, b sub 1 natin, what is our b sub 1? This one, si 7.85. So, 7.85, um, wait. Our A12 is from the augmented matrix. So, yung A12 natin is this one. First row, second column. That is negative 0 0.1. And X sub 2 raised to K minus 1 natin. K minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so let us write here b sub 1 minus a1 to k, x sub 2, k minus 1 natin, so that will be equal to 0, minus a1 3, x sub 3, k minus 1 is still equal to 0, over a1 1. So what is x sub 2 raised to 0 natin? So yung initial guess natin, that is equal to 0. Minus a1 3 natin, that is negative 0.2 multiplied by x sub 3 raised to 0, that is equal to 0. Over A11, what is our A11? That is 3, the first element of matrix A. So, yung x sub 1 raised to 1 natin is equal to, of course, this is equal to 0, 0, 7.85 over 3, and this is equal to 
61667. So we have value for our A, X sub 1 raised to 1. Now for X sub 2, X sub 2 raised to 1, that is equal to, what is our formula? That is equal to B sub 2 minus a to 1 x 1 raised to k okay minus a to 3 x sub 3 raised to k minus 1 all over a to 2 so this is equal to b sub 2 minus a to 1 x sub 1 raised to 1 since k natin is still equal to 1 kasi nasa first iteration pa lang tayo minus a to 3 x sub 3, k minus 1 is equal to 0. All over a to 2. So, this is equal to, plug in na natin yung mga values. So, b sub, b sub 2 natin is equal to negative 19.3. So, that is negative 19.3 minus our a to 1. a to 1 natin is c 0 0.1. So, positive 0 0.1 multiplied by our x sub 1 raised to 1. Yun yung na-solve natin kanina, which is 2.61667. And of course, A23 natin is negative 0.3. So, minus negative 0.3 multiplied by x sub 3 raised to 0. Initial guess ulit. So, that is equal to 0. And A22 natin is equal to 7. So, our x sub 2 raised to 1 is equal to, computing for this one, we will get negative 2.79452. So, that is our x sub 2 raised to 1. So, let's continue still in our first iteration to solve for x sub 3. So, yung x sub 3 natin, x sub 3 raised to 1 is equal to Formula is B sub 3 minus A31 X sub 1 raised to K minus A32 X sub 3 or X sub 2 I should say X sub 2 raised to K all over A33. Okay, so this is the formula we will use and this is equal to B sub 3 minus, okay, palitan na lang natin yung mga K natin. Since k is equal to 1 naman, so this is x sub 1 raised to 1 and x sub 2 raised to 2. So, our x sub 3 raised to 1 is equal to, what is our b sub 3? So, yung b sub 3 natin is from our um, constants that is uh, equal to 71.4. So, 71.4 minus what is our a31 from the augmented matrix? That is equal to 0 0.3. And then, x sub 1 raised to 1, 2.61667 minus our A32, that is equal to 0 0.2. So, positive 0 0.2 siya. So, minus 0 0.2 multiplied by x sub 2 raised to 1, which is yung na-solve natin kanina. That is negative 2 2.79452. All over our A33, so the last element of our matrix A, so that is 10. So, solving for x sub 3 raised to 1, if you solve for this one, that is equal to 71.17390 all, all over 10. And x sub 3 raised to 1 is equal to 7.11739. So, that is the value of our x sa ating first iteration. Now, at second iteration, okay, for k is equal to 2, so we are now going to solve for x sub 1 squared. So, this is equal to b sub 1 minus a12 tapos x sub 2 raised to k minus 1, so that is equal to 1. And then, minus a13, x sub 3 raised to k minus 1, that is equal to 1 again. And then, over a11. 
So, plug in na natin yung values to solve for x1 raised to 2. So, b sub 1 natin is equal to Okay. So, b sub 1 natin is 7.85 minus a12 that is equal to negative 0 0.1 multiplied by x2 raised to 1. So, that is negative 2.79452 minus a sub 3 natin, a, a sub a 1 3 natin. So, that is equal to negative 0 0.2 multiplied by x3 raised to 1. That is 7.11739. And over a 1 1 natin, that is equal to 3. So, our x sub 1 raised to 2 is equal to 2.99 801. Okay? So, for our x sub 2 raised to 2, okay, x sub 2 raised to 2, this is equal to um, b sub 2 minus a to 1, x sub 1 raised to 2, minus a to 3, x sub 3 raised to k minus 1, so that is equal to 1 all over a to 2. So, yung x sub 2 raised to 2 natin is equal to our b sub 2 that is equal to negative 19.3 minus our a to 1 that is positive 0 0.1 multiplied by x sub 1 raised to 2 which is this one. So, 2.99801 minus our a to 3 sorry a to 3 natin is equal to negative 0 0.3 multiplied by our x sub 3 raised to 1 which is this one times 7.11739 all over our a22 and a22 natin is equal to 7 okay so x sub 2 raised to 2 is equal to solving for this one you will have a value of negative 2.49494. So, that is x sub 2 raised to 2. And finally, solving for x sub 3 raised to 2. That is equal to b sub 3 minus a31 x sub 1 raised to 1. Or x sub 1 raised to 2 kasi k is equal to 2 na pala tayo. Minus a32, x sub 2 raised to 2. K is equal to 2. All over A33. So, our x sub 3 raised to 2 is equal to... So, our B sub 3 is equal to 71.4 minus A, A31 natin is 0 0.3 times x sub 1 raised to 2 is equal to Zero point three. This is zero point three. Two point nine nine eight zero one. Minus our a three two is zero point two multiplied by x sub two raised to two. That is negative two point four nine four nine four. Over our a three three that is equal to ten. So our x sub three raised to two is equal to. 7.09996. So, we now have solved for the different values of x and or of, of x in our system of linear equations. So, we stopped at a second iteration. So, that is how to solve using the Gauss-Seidel method.